Hi, I'm Liz Sneddon, having a look at the 2017 exam for probability level 2, and here is question 1a part 3. So here's our question. We are told that we've got a little introduction from a survey, um, and they, the survey talks about how females are more than 20% more likely to be obese than their male counterparts. Okay, so they've given us the table from the um, first part, and so we need to look at finding the chance of this. So it's talking about females more than 20% more likely. So as soon as I see those words, more likely, that is my hint that what I want to do is find the relative risk. And in this case, I need to do one probability divided by another. And if I look at the question, it's going to help to find what the probabilities are. So we need to, it talks about females are more likely to be obese. So I want to find what's the chance of being obese given that somebody is female with what's the chance of being obese given that somebody is male. So those are the two things I want to find. So let me just write that here. So I want the probability of obese given female divided by the probability of obese given male. Okay, so let's look at first of all the females. So I'm just going to look at this row here of females. So there's 1,295 females. From those females, 285 of them are obese. So I'm going to say it is 285 over 1,295. So from the females, that's how many obese females we have in the survey. Now we're going to look at the same thing for our males. So we're just going to look at this row here with the males. There's 1,205 males and from them there are 225 of them that are obese. So that is my probability. So we've got 222 out of the 1,205 males. Okay. Now if you either got that first probability, that would get you a U, or if you got the second probability, that would get you. So just the probabilities by themselves get you towards achieved. Now if I divide that through, that's going to give me a value of 1.19. So now I need to look at this and say, well, what does this mean? Okay, so this means, now we had on the top, we have our females. So it tells us that females are 19% more likely to be obese than males. Okay, so that's what it means. So if I get through to this value of 1.19, then that gives me my R towards my merit. Now the final thing for my excellence is I need to go back here and I need to answer the question. So the question says, do you agree with the introduction? Okay, so it's we want to know, do we agree with that? So the statement says, females are more than 20% more likely. So that would be implying that this number needs to be more than 1.20. Okay, now ours isn't quite, 19% is not, is not as much as 20%, so therefore I disagree. Okay, so I disagree with the claim. So I agree with the article's claim as 19% is less than 20%. Okay, and if we get through to that, then that gets us um, an excellence. So if you got through to the conclusion and you compared with the 20%, then that would get you through to um, 1T. 
if you get through to if you compare it to the inequality so the inequality here it talks about more than 20 percent so in actual fact that shouldn't I shouldn't have a greater than or equal to that should be greater than and so because the article claims that it's more than and we're disagreeing with that then that would get us through to um, 2t. Thanks for watching, there's a link to there to my website and you're welcome to watch more the playlist of videos, other videos in this series um, along with my channel there and you can subscribe to that.